Ah, uh, ah, uh, last time on Chaos Child, we screamed, and I didn't see the sumo faces originally. Da -da 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 -da. So the very, I'd say, almost obvious conclusion to come to is that they put these up in order to try to induce a psychological-esque phenomenon. But at the same time, that's so weird. Because, like, I had so many theories about, like, the, the point of them and whatnot. I mean, maybe they're playing double duty, but it just seems so separated. The idea of these being something to induce superpowers versus something that is enabling a specific superpower feels very different, I suppose, in terms of just conceptually. Uh, what was going on? Oh yeah, delusion. I felt sick. I couldn't stand. Collapsed to the floor. Ah! Felt like something was crawling up the bottom of my intestines. Something was bugs. Time slimy bugs. And lots of little feet were crawling up my stomach into my throat, scattering disgusting fluids behind them as they move. Okay, he's not in a good state of mind. <coughs> disgusting crawling sensation passed through my throat and out into my mouth. How are these things? Stop it! Help me! Feel sick, help me! This is gonna be a short one now that I am seeing this way out. Get out of my body! Taku? Taku! Shikari shite yo! Taku te ba! That's such a lighthearted way of saying that, that I have a hard time believing that that's actually her saying it. <coughs> <laughs> huh? Did I fall asleep? No, that wasn't it. I looked at the screen and got in sick. And then passed out. Where was I? My head felt awfully cold. Hmm? <laughs> I could hear Sarah's voice, but I couldn't see her. Where was I? What? Yeah, this feels like delusion, Sarah. Wow, that was so much longer than I expected it to be. Ido was here? Matching? What was she talking about? <laughs> When I looked to the side and saw it, my head cleared instantly. Zarka was next to me, lying in the same kind of seat I'd seen the girl in the vision sitting in. What was strange was her head. There's something on top of it, slimy and pink. No, that wasn't it. That was... That was a brain! Top of Sarah's skull is completely gone, several electrodes sticking out of what remain. <laughs> Suddenly heard a high pitched voice from the other side. It took some time before I realized that the voice belonged to Ido. That's how insane it sounded. tell if Ido was screaming in pain or pleasure. His head was, his brain was exposed and part of it seemed to be missing. <laughs> I think he agrees. I tried to move but I was held down tight and couldn't budge. I heard a cold voice from above my head. The voice was. <laughs> Something cold touched my head. At least that's how it felt.
Ooh, something gold. I'm just imagining hearing a motor start whirring. You know, for cutting that open. It felt good. Like my brain was going to melt. And Sim and I. 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 I was sure where I ended the world again. <laughs> where are you even getting that idea? You, I mean, it's so easy to tell what's a delusion and what's not because it's so incoherent. Like, it jumps between concepts. It's so, like, back with the, uh, Suma sticker face woman thing that had the lab coat on. It's like, the whole situation was so just, yeah. Everything just sort of happened. And the scary stuff happened right away, almost like a dream. It jumped around like a dream. Huh? Where was I? I was back in the basement. Toku, you okay? Are you okay? It just slowly helped me to my feet. I'm <sighs> Uh, so, another thought I had, uh, just recently in that last set of segments was, if the sumo sticker can... Uh, it seemed like, sort of, like, activate the supernatural stuff rather than necessarily, like, create it. Uh, but I, I wonder, I wonder, I wonder if there's some element to... How it works where it's not necessarily oh what's the way to phrase it it's not necessarily controlling people into doing this ridiculous stuff but it's like manifesting their powers in a way that they didn't have previously that results in the death basically i'm not sure what the best way to phrase it would be i can't say thinking back on any of them none of them except i guess maybe the singer girl, just because she had such an influence on people. Hmm. I can't think of any of them that would, uh, you could take them to an extreme and it was result in that sort of death. Lapcoat doesn't care. So, so I rubbed the back of my head and sure enough, there's a big bump. Lapcat was staring at me from in front of the screen. I thought she was going to complain again, but instead she pulled uh, me up to look at the screen. Uh. ああ、あのシールならなんだ。since it was clear that she was going uh, she wasn't going to take no for an answer I stood next to her Lapio tapped the report uh, tapped the report on the screen with her nails ジュイチバンメのロールシャンハ。さっきの画像に何らかの効果があると見なされて初めて実験に使用されたのが2007年とある。2007 was two years before the Shibuya quake. That was right around, uh, right about the time people started to see the Simo stickers, if I remember right. Is are, are you saying that the original stuff was like a an organized test, basically? And that was the same year we snuck into here. I uh, snuck in. We snuck in here to find out the truth about the urban legend of Amy. I took the mouse and read the next part. Hitonokao 
南沢千里からであり I've heard that name before. And then I stopped scrolling down the screen. There's a picture of a girl there. We've heard that name before, haven't we? How do you know? Do you have a memory of that girl? I... 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 Remember her? That was the girl. Ooh. Isn't that the name of the person that... Uh, no, no. Lost back, at least she thought, in the quake. That was a girl we'd seen that day. <laughs> that was a girl who'd seen us and begged for help. Lapcoat looked at me. Saki <laughs> Hanashita. この施設にいたかもしれない友達というのはこの子なんだなああはい。あああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああああ She stared at the picture of Minamisawa Senri on the screen. Much harder to tell the truth. Technically not friend, but the whole not forgetting the situation. Her eyes grew just a little softer. <laughs> But I felt a cold sweat as I looked at them. <laughs> It wasn't out of friendship that I'd never be able to forget the girl named、uh, Minami Sao Senri. It was because she was in my nightmare. Because. But I couldn't say that. All I could do was try and make it hard to tell what I was really thinking. <laughs> それは仕方のないことだ。気に病むことはない。Hmm. Maybe she does realize what really happened. そうじゃない。違うんだ。I had been too afraid to save her, and I had abandoned her. 今、彼女はどうしているんだろう。Lapko didn't realize what I was thinking, though. She caught up more data on the girl and called Minamisao Senri. 彼女は11番目の画像で特殊な兆候を見せた被験者としてかなり強引な実験を受けていたようだでも死ぬことなく生き延びた Forceful experiments The kind that could kill you When I heard that I almost threw up I did my best to keep Lapko from finding out だが渋谷地震の時に運悪く震源域に居合わせてそれ以降は Oh, okay. Well, it feels like a lot of things will likely center around that, so okay. You, you could have Yeah, say, Kakuniwa. Kono Jikin Setsuna, Jishin no Chokoni Kino, Oetishimat Tame, Kanojuni Kansuru Data Gasonzai Shinai, Toyu no Matadashi. Tada. So, this g It was horrible, but I felt a little less like throwing up. At least she hadn't died because of the experiments, or because we'd abandoned her. Hearing that made me feel like I'd been forgiven a little. A violent, self, a violent sense of self hatred overcame me again. Kome, Minami s a w Senri s a w Practically tortured here as part of those experiments, and then been caught in that earthquake. But I. I... And then I felt something tugging at the edge of my memories. Minami s a s o n I was about to say, it feels like it, I would be really surprised if someone like No No 
never mentioned the name. Had I heard that name somewhere before? Then where? And from who? Before I could think about it any further, Ido spoke up hesitantly. True, 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 true. That's about what I thought he'd say when he started speaking up. Lapko closed the file on Minamisao Senri, and her face took its usual cool, emotionless expression. ここは今、実験中に取ラブルのあった被験者たちの保護施設として使われている。実験に失敗して脳に損傷を負ったり、正気を失った感情、程度によって軟禁、もしくは監禁しておくための地下収容所ということだ。コーチオンランドゥマイボディ。まさか。そんなことってありえねえ。ひどい。目的のためならどんなことでもやる連中がいる。お前たちが相手にしているのはそういう連中なんだ。だから最初に警告してやったろ。Okay. So you said this place was shut down, but is the implication more that they've simply changed their base of operations since then? Are still using this place for this purpose then? Lapcoat opened another file. これで見る限り、現在でも20名近くの人間が she scrolled down the page and a new picture appeared. Huh? Oh, ma uh, if that's supposed to be cursive. Uh, <laughs> oh, I can't read that. Let's see. Uh, Yuki Yamazoe. 2001 female, so she'd be, what, 14, I think? No, or say. Brain scans. Uh, I wish I could read. Yeah, I can't read that if it's supposed to be cursive. I sort of can see, the, like, the one-fourth and four-fourths, but... Yamazoe-Uki-chan? <laughs> oh, that would have made her like... So if it was six years ago, that would have been like a two-year span when they were doing it. That would have made her six to eight during that time frame. <laughs> this shattering revelation was presented to us as a mere matter of fact, as if it was the most ordinary thing imaginable. Oh, it doesn't really seem that surprising to me, but okay. Uh, Sarah covered her mouth with her hand, and her eyes went wide. Then she had suffered the same fate as Misamasa Senri. Yeah, keep looking. Really? Okay, okay. I thought she was a criminal who'd stolen my smartphone and threatened me. And what's more, I thought that she was either connected to the killer, or maybe that she was the killer herself. But now I wasn't sure. Well, she is clearly connected. She went and became someone who worked with the people who experimented on her, so there's some semblance of... Uh, what's the best word for it? A working relationship there, at the very least. Well, 
ここでの実験の被験者ということは何らかのその能力者の可能性だってある解約したはずのスマホから電話してくれなんてゲートはそういう能力でもない限り不可能じゃないか As my mind raced, Lapiot was checking out every bit of data on the machine. But. Jitken no kekka. Disorder no hatsgen wa. Zen hikken sha no reten reichi percent ni mitazu. Shippai do dante. Bets no gizit no mosak sbeki to ketsro. A disord? What? Ch. Yapurika. Paka no kagak sha domoga. Lapcat sounded uncharacteristically ticked off as she closed all the folders and turned off the PC. Disorder. That strange word snapped me out of my reverie. Yeah, that feels out of place relative to everything else we've talked about. It seemed like she was, uh, it does not seem like a term anyone would use for a scientific phenomenon. Let's say that. It seemed like she looked, uh, it seemed that she was, it seemed that was what she was looking for. Okay. Why? I looked at her, hoping for some kind of answer, but she just glared back at me with terrifying eyes. She was right. I snuck in here as a child, but that was all. I didn't remember the details. She was right. Damn it. But there must be some way. I looked around the room and saw all the rows of monitors. They were on. They could at least tell us what was going on around the facility. Maybe they could tell us where Yamazawa Yuki was. どうした宮代このモニターの電源がないか探してるんだよこいつが使えればあるいは無駄だそもそもその監視システム自体動いているのかも Just try it. Suddenly the room was bathed in a pale light All the monitors on the wall turned on Did I press something or someone else doing that? All we could do was gasp. What we thought were security cameras were showing. Oh, hey, uh, FYI, lab coat. You know how you mentioned this place didn't have a remote connection to the outside? Uh, well, we had a call from someone who might have powers that let them call through a phone that doesn't have connection to the cell provider. So, uh, hey, maybe that's related to this. Hundreds of sumo stickers. Wait, what? <laughs> Is, are all all the all the monitors are focused on places with sumo stickers? I was screamed. I was so surprised. <laughs> Inside the monitors on the wall was the face. Was face after sumo sticker face, all looking at me. What was this? What was going on? I don't get a choice in delusions anymore, do I? We're just completely negative, negative, negative. Oi, oi. Katte ni nerun janai. Lab coat? Hmm? I gotta be honest, I am sort of getting. tired of. I, I, I get them, but I. I sort of wish, wish they were quicker because they feel like distractions from everything else going on. And it's like, come on, come on, come on. I was back in the chair. Is this a dream? Which was the dream? Was I dreaming of being in this chair? Or had I been dreaming of being in the monitoring room? Oh, that's actually an interesting little. Okay, you know what? If we're going to go that direction, which one's the real one? And then maybe somehow my powers determine which one is the real one. My head felt real cold. Oh, that's right. 
さて、それじゃあそろそろいただくとするか。では。She was eating it. Labrio was eating my brain. anymore. These are long past being daydreams. Hmm. Again, I had another weird delusion. I quickly shook my head and slapped my cheeks set myself out of it. <laughs> Sarah and Ido looked unhappy. It was because of the sumo stickers displayed on the monitors. I looked at the monitors once more, trying my best to avoid the Suma stickers. <sighs> some of the monitors were showing the inside of the hospital, but some were looking somewhere else. Street corners in Shibuya, signs under bridges, alleyways, overpasses, train station, staircases, store, walls. Huh. <sighs> Are we looking at sumo stickers? Or are we looking from their perspective? And then I realized all the monitors were sumo stickers. Some of them I knew. That was a spot where Kurusu had been attacked. Of course there were sumo stickers there. Lapco pointed to a corner of one of the monitors. I quickly looked away before I got a direct look at the sumo sticker. Okay. In other words, whoever was using this place put up the 11th uh, Rorsarch image all over Shibuya and used these cameras to find people who reacted to it. And then they took them here and did those horrible experiments. But they're not doing experiments anymore? Wait. Or maybe she's just wrong before. <coughs> okay. Stop it, stop it, stop it. Let's go, let's get on with the story. I remember what I'd seen happen to uh, Minamisawa Senri, and I felt like I was going to throw up again. <laughs> then, Alabgo made a sharp noise. She put her hand over one of the monitors to brush away the dust and stared at it. It showed something move around in a dark room. There was no sumo sticker there. It wasn't even just Shibuya or the hospital above, so it was probably showing one of the rooms down here. <laughs> It was definitely the girl. On the screen. 
She's saying something to an old person lying on a bed, gently wrapping belts around their arms and legs. That girl was my only clue as to where the, my uh, smartphone was, which means that we had to find the room on the monitor. Lapko suddenly told me that she knew where it was. She's been so uncooperative so far, I had no idea why she suddenly decided to help. But when she saw that girl, she suddenly said that she'd go with us. <sighs> of course, I knew her well enough by now. She wasn't helping us, she's simply taking interest in the girl. At least, that was how I saw it. As we moved down the dim hallway, the temperature dropped and the humidity went up. She stopped in front of the door, strange words on the plate. Confinement? Room. Three. Lapka opened the door a little, taking care to make it as little noise as possible. I peeked inside. And there, I saw... A world that I'd only ever seen in movies. There were rows of beds in the room. And there were what appeared to be prisoners lying on them. They had different ages and sexes. Some were old and some seemed young. And one of them I recognized. It was the old lady the girl had been walking with before. Thank <laughs> you. Oh yeah, that one was an interesting one. Uh, some were screaming, some were counting numbers endlessly. One was a girl who's endlessly chewing her food. It seemed unreal. I remembered the woman with the baby carriage I passed before and felt cold sweat forming on my palms. Okay. That was basically the conclusion I was going to come to at the end. She didn't say it herself. For a moment, the tone of her voice changed. Like there's a pale flame burning somewhere deep within her voice. It was a pale flame of rage, which seems cold at first glance, but was in fact incredibly hot. Taku! Sarka tucked my sleeve and whispered. She pointed at the bed in the back with her other hand. I could see something move past what looked like a curtain. Uh, uh. Sorry. Uh, she does seem to actively care for their well-being. Someone appeared from within the curtain. The girl in the file, Yamazoe Yugi, didn't seem to notice us. She moved around from one patient to another, doing her best to take care of them. I could hear Lapka whisper. It took me a moment to figure out what she was saying. But by the time that I did, she flung up the door to the room and left inside. Huh? Yamazoe Yuki's eyes went wide at the sudden intruder. Labco grabbed her hand. Uh, yeah, this is gonna go well. All the patients are to screen, afraid of the sudden commotion. Yim Zoe looked around the room and tried her best to calm the people there, even as Labco held it onto her arm. Hey, 
警備に気づかれる早くしろだからあなたは誰ですか一体何ですかお前をここから解放してやるそんな嫌ですやめてください The girl named Yamazo Yuki went pale and tried to free herself from、uh, Lapcoat's grip. She's completely in panic. Yeah, she seems to be here voluntarily. Lapcoat must have decided there's nothing to gain by talking because she quickly moved around behind her and put her arm in the girl's car carotid artery. Then she applied very light pressure.、Uh, Yamazo Yuki moaned for just an instant, then she slumped backwards into Lapcoat's arms. She seemed to have passed out. She put the unconscious girl on her back and ran outside the room without bothering to wait for us. I was stunned at her speed, but there's no time for hesitating. Honoe, Ito! Well, at least they, they, catch on, they catch on quickly. I motioned、uh, Serkin, Ito, and ran out into the hallway. We followed after Lapcoat as fast as we could. Just like she said, if we got lost in here, we'd be caught for sure. And who knew what would happen to us then? I don't care. I didn't know who's doing the experiments that Rachel's were suffering horrible fates. As I ran, I felt as the screams of rage were following me. We got out easily enough. Okay, that's good. So she's clearly a caretaker, but not in charge of the facility, basically. Are, there, are they still doing experiments down there in the modern day? It sort of seemed to imply that.、Uh, that, or they're shepherding people from another location there. <sighs> We followed Lapcoat as fast as we could, then made it outside the hospital via a different route than before. Lapcoat was sweating like a racehorse, and her breathing was heavy, but she never,、uh, she never let her guard down, even for a second. Instead, she seemed to be looking around intently. We were at the back of the hospital, it seemed like the exit where they moved corpses from the morgue to the hearse. And for that reason, there was a fence surrounding us that kept us hidden. Lapcoat had evidently taken this fence into account in her escape plan from the start. <laughs> Oh, so out of breath, just me. So Sarah spoke for me. We were almost at the rear gate of the hospital. She started to run towards it. We followed her with the last of our strength. There was a guard stationed there, but there were only two men asleep, heads pointed at the ceiling. Oh, I wonder if she, like, put them to sleep. Hence why you had a timer. Okay, got it. That's why you were running out of time. I frantically made my way through the guard station, finally got past the hospital's outer walls. We ran a little longer and found a van parked in a secluded spot. Is Shinjo going to be in there? What is Miyo? Oh, her, okay. A broad shouldered woman looked up at us from the driver's seat. Hello, getaway driver looking woman. It was hard to tell how old she was. <laughs> her attitude and bearing made her look like an older person, but the mischievous grin on her face made her seem younger. And <laughs> レノ実験では結局理論を完成させることができなかったようです。そう。理想度の発言にも確実性はなく、ギガロマニアックス実験は失敗だったとは。まあ、予想した通りよね。ギガロ。だって。It's、uh, That was a thing. Is that still a thing? Are there still gigolos?、Uh, I just remember that being like 
a pop culture thing that people were generally aware of, like, back in when I was growing up. And what was the D-Sword? Uh, didn't she say something about that in the monitoring room? Lapcoat opened the rear door and laid Yamazo Yuki on the back scene. So, I mean, this is sort of kidnapping. She's, what was it, 14, 15? She's still a kid. Lapcoat hadn't even dropped her attitude for Detective Shinjo, but now she's being polite. Just who was this woman? Yeah, that is how that sentence should end. She seemed to be referring to us, but what did she mean by good? She's as arrogant as ever, and like usual, she was pissing me off. Her voice got a little sharper as she pointed to the metal seat in the back of the van. We could hear what sounded like a lot of yelling in the direction of the hospital. Oh, so, okay, she was right about that. We quickly jumped inside and closed the door. Lapcoat got in the front passenger seat. The van started quietly and headed off into the night. Interesting. Uh, okay. Okay. Uh, this isn't going to be an episode, but I am going to stop recording for now and then come back a little bit later, just because this is a good stopping point. Uh, and I'm starting to feel like this game in general, like the chunks to really make it work like well pacing wise to play it in are more like 40 minute intervals. I'm actually legitimately thinking that this really works best in 40 minute intervals, that sort of thing. So not all the time, but... Generally, I found, like, I enjoy it, but I feel as though smaller chunks of it at a time have generally been helpful to my enjoyment process of it. Just because of the pacing, just because it has good stopping points or other things, and then it doesn't feel like I'm forcing myself to continue on instead of taking a break and then coming back to it another time when I feel like playing it. Uh, so, I think I'm going to try to do that for the future. Uh, I guess it's a little upside of sort of the weirdness of... The weirdness of the whole situation with me being busy is that I played in a little bit shorter chunks, uh, unintentionally, and it made me reflect on that a little bit, and I think that's the case. I'm still going to record and get hour-long episodes and whatnot, but I think I'm going to record them in a bit shorter chunks. So, I'll talk to you all about that next time. Be right back, and I guess drive safely until then. And hello and welcome back. Let's continue where we left off. We are at, I presume, the place we saw Shinjo and her previously. Oh. Is this... Are they just nervous about being brought here, or is this a place I recognize? They... <laughs> I'm just gonna reiterate. For the amount of times they use a slightly dimmed... Like... <laughs> They use a basically a slightly dimmed uh, night sky, or a slightly dim uh, day sky to show a night sky. They really should have just invested in a night sky background. They really should have. <laughs> oh, you brought us to your home, not to that office. Impressive. Is this really your? Okay, let's let let's look at all your. Let's look at all your mess. I immediately see a bra. Uh, let's see. Yeah, this is just a pile of clothes. Water. Very basic. Multiple screens, which means you got multiple things going. A printer. Um. No place immediately. Maybe it's behind her. 
for you to put any of these papers that you apparently need a printer to, uh, print out. So you can't put them down or write on them, or, or at least not nearly as easily. Um, oh, is that just a towel? Does she take a shower in this room, too? <laughs> well, that's what the water is for, obviously. Obviously. Oh, boy. Admittedly, this is not like my apartment, but I'd probably feel very similar to her if someone walked into my apartment. I don't... I don't... I don't clean up well, let's say that. だって... Oh, oh, no, okay, now I can't really see over the side too clear. Uh, the outside wasn't much better, but looking inside, it's hard to believe there were still apartments this dumpy in Shibuya. Well, maybe she made it that way. Uh, the same was true of everything else in this room. Everything in the apartment was the cheapest kind you could buy. Oh, she's got her little microphone set up there, too. She's got, like, a little microphone stand. I'm moving my, mine around. I got that sort of set up, too. She actually might have a more professional one than me. <laughs> Hers definitely looks more like the professional style than mine is. Huh? I pushed Ito out of the way and ran over to the computer. The monitor was still on. And the page there was one I'd seen many times. Shibuya News. And it wasn't the display version of the page that we've seen so many times. The page was in the process of being edited. The page was in the process of being edited. So that was it. I, I thought I heard her voice somewhere before. Her voice is just too different from the gentle K that we were used to hearing. But that voice was, without a doubt, K's. He was pretty excited too, it seems. Of course he was. K was someone we both admired. She was the ultimate right sider. Oh my goodness. Since even I admitted it, she had to be at the top of her class. <laughs> what standards? I never thought I'd be able to meet her like this, though. But... I can't say I'd ever imagine Kay having a weird personality like this. Labcoat, the girl who'd been insulting us the whole evening, was the same person as the gentle Kay that we knew from Shibuya News. Which was the real one? I did not know. Why had Kay brought us to her room? I thought I'd remember her saying she decided if we could... Uh, if she could use us later. <laughs> Hell yeah. Positive. Go all etchy on this. I looked over and saw something strange on the... Uh, the can you use us later? Go all positive feelings on this. Uh, the best way to describe the thing I saw was a sword? What the hell? This feels sort of out of place. Relative to everything else in the game so far. Uh, but I wasn't sure if most people who saw it would think that. Well, it does seem to have a blade. The middle being like it is seems weird. Uh, its design was complicated and frankly unrealistic. Well, depends what it's trying to achieve. Uh... Swords are cool. I'm not really going to complain about a sword, but this doesn't feel like the sword sort of story at the moment. Uh, are those... There are connections between it. Are those wires, or... Uh, for some reason, looking at it made me feel uneasy. Curious what the purple thing in the middle... T is that metal, or... Made me feel real bad, actually. What was that? Someone told me it was for cosplay, I'd probably believe them. If nothing else, it didn't match the image I had of the person in front of me. Not the K I knew from Shibuya News. 
or the lab coat who'd been swearing at me the whole fucking night. She maybe have a third identity. Maybe she's a famous cosplayer. Or maybe she was a toy artisan who made life-size uh, weapons. Maybe she was an otaku who collected swords like this. Swords are cool. Shut up. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm going for the positive thing, for the sword thing. Either way, it felt like a bad idea to mention it. Best to just ignore it. Best to pretend I never saw it. Also, we haven't had a positive one. Miyashiro. We haven't had a positive one in, like, ever, so. Might as well go for positive now. Huh? Lapko brought it up! I was trying my hardest to ignore it. I tried my best to laugh and avoid looking at it. Lapko must have sensed what I was doing because she dropped the subject. Instead. Augur? Uh, I've actually looked that up like for completely unrelated reasons in the recent enough time that I remember. Aren't augurs like Roman future seers? Isn't like they're like um, or they were supposed? To, oh no no no, they're like um, the Roman concept for someone who is basically acting as like the voice of the gods or something like that oh fuck maybe i'm getting it wrong now ah she whispered what's going on why'd she brought us here the window started to rattle it must have been the wind the only thing i could see outside the window were the street lights swirling in the darkness for some reason i felt very anxious and then it came without warning there's a huge crash uh, as the window shattered. A black ball landed in the center of the room. Well, you were in the van. It was the tiny girl with glasses. I knew her face. She's the girl we've seen at the general hospital. <laughs> Right, because we kidnapped her and put her in the car. Exception, you all? What? Is that a. Because that's not execution unless that's a typo. Well, well, thank you for specifically telling me. You should also, if you want to be nice about it and show this isn't a delusion specifically, just in my mind, uh, also mention Serika and Ido. Ido really needs to get more love. Hey, lab coat, you think you could give... Uh, <laughs> uh, for some reason, I, I didn't sound very worried. I was having trouble giving up this uh, situation. Doku. Serika was going to be a little afraid. It was rare to see her look this way. Normally she was optimistic and easygoing. As the man here, I needed to protect her. Yeah, you know, if this was real life, you wouldn't introduce yourself and... You... <laughs> Why would you even have a name? <laughs> Why would you have a nickname? Uh, that translated to Weasel Scythe. Come on. No. I saw her nails for sh No, it translates to scythe and <laughs> an animal. I, are weasels known for going in like circles or something? I'm not actually familiar with that. Uh, I saw that her nails were shiny emerald green. Did she paint them with luminescent paint? <laughs> Just saying random pro or not pronouns now. Please devolve into literally only saying random nonsense uh, pronouns. Please devolve into that. Uh, 
Labcat reached for her blade before she could. A burst of wind blew through the room. The wind shone emerald green. The emerald wind surrounded Labcoat's body. Her cloaks were torn apart. Uh oh, uh oh. Feels like something else should have been there knowing how VNs typically work, but I'm okay with this. Not just her clothes, her beautiful skin and long black hair were ripped apart by invisible blades. Okay, less sexual. Red blood flew through the air. <laughs> Labgo fell to the ground, covered in blood. Her hand just managed to grab the blade, but... She couldn't fight like that. Labcat was going to die. But all I could do was stand there and watch. If I interfered, I would meet the same fate. I would be exceptioned. Organizer側のアウグルも質が落ちたものですね。クノサとミオ、あなた程度で私を止められるとでも。<laughs> Labgo gritted her teeth and staggered to her feet, using the sword as support. That's... that's crazy! You can't do anything like that! She'll just kill you! Yeah. Shira. Huh? The last of her strength, Labgo offered me her sword. Kimo... <laughs> お前なら the holy ideal blade glad gladiolus <laughs> the holy <laughs> Ideal Blade Gladiolus. My name was the Chaos Child. Name drop credits. Oh, that's where I should end the episode. <laughs> name drop. I'm not one to actually be against, like, world building where you have a bunch of uh, made up, like, pronouns and names and such. I'm not too against that, but. They're clearly parroting the idea of just having a bunch of random names, and it would be very out of place with the world they've set up in this so far. To have just a bunch of holy ideal blade gladiolus. <laughs> She's strong. Oh. Goddamn Discord. Goddamn Discord, you're ruining a beautiful moment. Fight? Me? Uh, one day I'll remember to turn off Discord before starting. And then Labgo collapsed into my arms. What did she say? Something about people dying? She said that I'm supposed to kill everyone, right? Uh, I grabbed her and suddenly my hands were slick with red blood. She'd always been so intimidating that I thought she was much taller than me. But her body was so frail and so light. She was just a girl too. But she fought so hard until she ended up like this. <laughs> I had to do it. I didn't know what was going on. But if I didn't stop her, not only Labcoat's life, or my life, but Sarah and Ito's lives would be in danger as well. I would have to protect everyone. I set Labcoat on the ground and motioned to Sarika and Ito to step back. I gripped the sword I had been given tightly. And then I turned to face the girl in the glasses. Weasel scythe. <sighs> Reminder, this is all happening in the middle of a rundown apartment. Shut up, Discord! <laughs> I'm not that far... Not that far from a stopping point. 
I glared at her silently. You were you said you were gonna kill us beforehand anyways. Come on, story, be be consistent. Well, you don't have a nice proper noun for quote unquote true awakening? I didn't know what to expect. But if I didn't fight, I would die. I had to fight. I steeled myself and took a step towards Weasel Scythe. I'm actually sort of happy the Discord notifications are going off. It so fits the tone of what's happening. <laughs> huh? <coughs> Maybe I should turn them off now. Mm, yeah, I should. Okay, hello and welcome back to like two minutes later. Last time we took on the Weasel Scythe and the world was never the same after the Weasel Scythe attacked. You are in your last year of high school. What the fucking hell are you thinking? Sure, any Japanese boy who grew up on manga could fantasize about something like that, but honestly, it was sort of... <laughs> As a person who likes manga, anime and stuff like that, it definitely wasn't a good one. Let's say that. <laughs> it was very obviously supposed to be a parody. Uh, it was all tropes and cliches. If, I had gotten, if it had gotten launched in the magazine, it would have been cancelled after ten weeks. <laughs> Aren't you optimistic? I blamed the sword that was just sitting there in the corner. Any boy who saw that sword would remember his dark history. Anyway, this was no time to think, uh, be thinking about that sword. That's a weird thing to say. Good, she doesn't care. It means that the ship is still alive. As I sat there fantasizing about, you know, Lab Code and Ido's future baby, uh. <laughs> okay, that actually came out weird. Uh, about their future wedding or whatever, I don't know. Lab Code was tearing apart Ido's hopes and dreams. He was having a bad time. <laughs> Crap, she was really scary. Was the K that I love only an image I created for myself? And was this girl who she really was? Labcat stood by the ball and glared at me, oblivious to how I felt. Huh? Da 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 da. It was so sudden that I didn't know what I'd been asked. Power? Who? Me? Again, it feels like someone's guiding us along. I guess all the shit that we have happened, like, in between chapters where we see those little, like, yeah, we're monitoring him sort of thing makes me feel even more that someone's like trying to lead us into a situation それはたまたまですよ。なんか偶然とか重なってうまく入れただけです。隠すな。お前はそれを能力でやってのけたんだ。だから違います。監視モニターがいきなり起動したのだってそうだ。what was she talking about? I didn't have any kind of powers. Wait, Kay, I respect you, so... Try not to disappoint me so much. Lapko pointed to me, uh, pointed at me and Ido in turn. Well, why not Serika? Oh, you seem you seem to know something about her at the very least, yeah? I remember you making that comment before. Would that imply that you know enough about Serika to know that she's not a psychic? Huh. Ah. 
だがお前の方はその後何の反応も示さなかったからな除外した反応11番目のロールシャッハ画像を見た時の反応だよ、okay. Love good Steve Dark Eyes appearing in the me. Daga Miyashiro Takuru. Ano Gazo Mitatoki. O my wa Hageshku do Yosta. Ya, that Anna Kishoku or Yedesio. Atari Moja Nideska. O my no. So you han no to a mat takuchina. Ano Gazo Mitatokini. Do Kanjita. O my dashtemiro. The feeling I experienced when I'd seen the Sigma sticker image came back to me. When I looked at it, all the hairs on my body stood on end, and I was attacked by nightmarish delusions from which there was no escape. It was so scary I couldn't help but look away from it. Labco turned towards her computer and opened up a folder. She watched my face carefully as she moved to click on the image inside the folder. I slowly sank to the floor and sat down, sweat pouring from my body. I looked away from the computer. I didn't have the courage to look at the image right now. Okay, that's probably a good place to end the episode at least, so I'll see y'all next time. Drive safely, everyone.